here we are talking about watercolor. I am not a professional painter. I have really found that I enjoy watercolor painting and I've started doing it more and more over the last couple of years. Um, this is an old sketchbook of mine that I would just sit down and fiddle around with. Um, when I look at these, I kind of cringe when I see most of them, but I also see where I started and what I've learned and what I do differently now. Um, so I think it's important to look through old stuff from time to time. Still love these mushrooms. Um, I still love these poppies. But most of this, uh, I'm not a real fan of anymore. Anyway, I am happy that you're here and you want to watercolor along with me for the next couple of weeks. Um, I just want to talk real quick about supplies and then we'll get started. I like to use pretty cheap watercolor paper. This is what I have now. Um, it's 140 pounds and it feels a little bit textured and it feels like watercolor paper. Um, it doesn't feel super thick, but it also isn't thin and flimsy like copy paper or construction paper. Um, you can get it wet and dry over and over again and it doesn't really um, buckle or start to rub away. Uh, I also use, at Honeybee, I use this um, thinner paper. It's called mixed media paper. Discount School Supply sells it and they call it watercolor paper, but it's only 90 pounds. It still works great for watercolor. If you have some of this, then please just use it. Um, also, I am gonna put this everywhere I link to this class that if you need watercolor supplies and you don't have them and you can't get them delivered to you right away, just, and you're local, just let me know. I have a lot of things I can loan out. Um, this is what I'm gonna use today. Uh, it has a little note scribbled on the back from my seven-year-old. Um, and I did get a little grumpy that she used watercolor paper for this note, but I'm gonna use the back of it today. Um, and these are the supplies that you'll need. A cup of water, something to mix in, like um, a yogurt container lid or um, something out of your recycle bin, anything that has a little bit of a reservoir for mixing colors. You can also use the inside of your paint tray, but as you can see with mine, it's pretty um, messy. I still will probably use those colors, but um, I don't feel like cleaning it out every time. I always use Prang watercolors. They're also pretty inexpensive, but I really like the, um, I like the vibrancy of them. So these, these are my favorites. They're kind of primary colors plus a couple. Um, more of an orange and more of a fuchsia than red. And then I also use these when I need when I'm having trouble mixing exactly what I want. Um, a sponge or two is really helpful when your brush is too wet and you don't want to have a lot of water on your paper. And then um, these are my three favorite brushes right now. I don't know a whole lot about them except that this is a number 12, it's really big. Um, and then I like these two because they're not very fluffy, so they'll do more precise things. Um, I think they're both number ones, but that doesn't really matter. Just look for something that has, that's not too flared out um, and has kind of a nice point. And then um, a pencil and a ruler I always have with me. And 